What if I told you the NPC you just battled spent 10,000 hours training just for that fight? Modern games like Elden Ring and Cyberpunk 2077 now use AI that evolves with players, learning your tactics, adapting stories in real time, and even generating unique quests. Today, we'll pull back the curtain on how artificial intelligence is creating gaming experiences that are different for every single player. Three revolutionary AI tools changing development. Procedural generation. No Man's Sky uses AI to create 18 quintillion unique planets. Minecraft's new AI builder suggests structures based on your playstyle. Smart NPCs. NVIDIA's Ace gives characters long-term memory and emotional depth. In Starfield, NPCs now debate philosophy based on your choices. Dynamic storytelling. AI Dungeon 2 generates endless plot twists. Ubisoft's Ghostwriter creates 10,000-plus dialogue variations in minutes. The most impressive? EA's new AI playtester completes entire games in eight hours, finding bugs human testers would miss for months. But AI gaming has serious controversies. Job threats. 38% of game artists fear AI replacement. AI can now generate 2D assets 100 times faster than humans. Creativity crisis. Overused procedural generation leads to repetitive worlds. Some indie devs report losing their creative spark. Ethical lines. Should AI-created content be copyrighted? Valve bans AI games with unclear training data. The biggest debate? At what point does AI-assisted design become AI-replaced design? By 2025, expect games where NPCs develop unique personalities over years. Entire worlds evolve based on player emotions. AI directors customize horror games to your deepest fears. Microsoft's Project Pydia is already testing AI that generates physics-defying game mechanics, creates living ecosystems where creatures evolve, designs puzzles that adapt to your IQ in real time. The future isn't about AI replacing designers, it's about AI amplifying human creativity. As gaming legend Hideo Kojima says, AI is my new collaborator not competitor. Now I want to hear from you. Should there be limits on AI in game development? Your opinion might shape the next decade of gaming. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.